In this video tutorial, we're going to show you how to clean and disassemble the new Dangerous Power E1 regulator system. Let's start off by using the C-clip plier to remove the C-clip on the bottom of the regulator. Be sure to use the correct tool to ease the removal of the C-clip. Next, use the 5 ths Allen key provided by Dangerous Power to remove and unscrew the velocity adjustment screw on the bottom of the regulator. Next, you're going to need to remove the top piece of the regulator. Once you've completely removed it, twist it off and set it to the side. Now that you've completely removed the top part of the regulator, use the 3 32nds Allen key provided by Dangerous Power to unscrew the set screw which hold the bottom housing of the regulator in place. Now that you have the set screw out, you should be able to slowly pop out the bottom housing of the regulator. Now with your finger, remove the piston from the main body of the regulator. Be careful not to lose any of these shims as they are very important to the performance of the marker. Let's start by cleaning the main body of the regulator. Check to see if any of the o-rings have been damaged. If they have, replace them by a 15.6 by 1.78 replacement o-ring. Next, clean and check the o-ring on the velocity adjustment screw. If this screw is damaged, replace it by a 9.25 by 1.78 o-ring. Next, clean the top portion of the regulator system as well. This is the most important part, cleaning the piston of the regulator. Make sure that this piece is completely clean and change any broken o-rings. Please refer to the manual for the correct sizes. Now that you've cleaned the regulator piston, it's time to clean the shim stack. Be sure to remove any old dirt or debris from all of the shims, and be careful not to lose any of them, for you will need all of them for the market to perform at peak performance. Now that we've cleaned all the components to the regulator, it's time to lubricate it. First, Lubricate the main body of the regulator using DP40 lubrication. Now that we've lubed the main body of the regulator, it's time to lubricate the velocity adjustment screw. Apply a little bit of lubrication to the one o-ring that sits at the bottom end of this piece. Next, apply a little bit of lube to the top portion of the regulator. Check to make sure this o-ring is not damaged. Once that's done, apply a little bit of DP40 lubrication to the piston of the regulator. Apply lube to both o-rings. Make sure not to overly lube these two pieces. Only a little bit of lubrication is required. Now that we've cleaned and maintenance the regulator components, it's time to put it all back together. First, we'll start off by the shim stack. On this section, please refer to the user manual for the correct sequence on how to put these shims back into place. With the last shim in place, take the piston and insert it into the main housing of the regulator. Be sure to push it in snug so that the o-ring seeds nice with the surrounding area. Now, take the bottom housing and put it directly on top of the main housing of the regulator. It should snap in place. After that, take the set screw that you removed earlier and add a tiny amount of Loctite so that it stays in place during excessive gameplay. After you've added Loctite, gently, and make sure very gently, place it back into the bottom housing of the regulator. Be sure not to over tighten or force this set screw into place. With the bottom and main housing put together, it's time to apply the top piece. Screw this piece on gently, make sure it's nice and snug. Tighten it with the allen key just to make sure it's really snug. With that done, take the velocity adjustment screw and insert it into the bottom of the regulator. When you're screwing this piece in, be careful not to over tighten this piece, or snug it up too much. This may cause the bushing inside to start leaking, and you may damage it. Lastly, take the C-clip, place it back inside the regulator so that the velocity adjustment screw cannot fall out. Now you've completely maintenance the E1's regulator system. Thank you for watching this dangerous power tutorial. I hope to see you again next time.